Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. So in this video, we are going to discuss Geeks for Geeks problem of the day. And today's problem is rearrange an array with O of 1 extra space and it is a medium level problem. So the problem statement says that we have been given an array of size n and we have to like change the array items such that array of i becomes array of array of i. So basically we have to switch some positions and we have to take care of the fact that it should be only done using O of 1 extra space. I will explain you what this line means that array of i should be equal to array of array of i. But for now let us focus on two things that the first thing is that we have to use uh, like O of 1 extra space. And the second thing is like the constraints are such you can always uh, create a temporary array to perform all these operations. But that is not what we are going to do here. Right. So we are going to first discuss this sample test case and then we are going to have a look at two valid approaches for this particular question. So we are going to discuss two completely different methods. Both of them works and both of them uses O of 1 extra space. So you can use any of them. But first let me like uh, explain you this sample test case what it says. So there are five elements right. So this will be of size 5. Now if I have five elements the first position says that this particular element should be equals to the element at position 4 right. The 4 here means that this particular element should be equal to the element at position 4. So this is 0, this is 1, this is 2, this is 3, this is 4 right. So this becomes 3. Now here 0 means that this particular element should be equal to the element at position 0. So it is 4. Now this 2 means that this particular element should be equal to the element at position 2. So this becomes 2. Now this particular 1 means that this particular element should be equal to the element at position 1. So it becomes 0. And the last uh, element 3 means that this element should be equal to the element at position 3. So it is equal to 1. Right. So your final array would be 3, 4, 2, 0, 1 and it is exactly what we are written here. Right. So this is what the question is actually saying. Now uh, how you can solve this problem? We will discuss two different methods. So the first method of solving this problem is using bit manipulation. So let me just write it. We can solve this problem using bit manipulation. Right. M method 1 using bit manipulation. Right. So the first thing is, the first thing in this method is, let us assume that the maximum value of a of a of i takes, uh, let's say, x bits. Right. So we are just assuming this fact that the maximum value of a of i take takes x bits. Right. So let us discuss with a smaller example first. For now, let us assume that. Uh, this, this value of x is actually equal to 2. So let's say a number will have some bits, right. Now uh, the last two bits in this particular number will be actually re used to represent a of i, right. So let's say these last two bits are somewhat 1, 0, right. And I want to replace this particular position with an element such that its bits are 0, 1. Right. So what I'll do is I know only the last two bits are being used. Right. All these bits are like of no use right now. So I can take the bits from this particular number and write it down here 0 1. Right. So you will see the first two bits can always be used to represent the actual number it was there and the next two bits can be used to represent the uh, new number that, that should be placed there. Right. So after I've done it after I've like uh, copied all the bits from all the numbers at the end what I have to do is for each array of i I have to right shift it by 2. So why this particular operation? Now you see the last two bits are redundant right it is of no use for me now. The only number that I want is these two bits right. So I want these two bits to take the position in the last two bits right. So if I just right shift this whole number by 2 it will become 0 1 eventually right and this is what I exactly want. So this is one way of solving it. Now I have taken a smaller example of two bits but what is the value of x in our question. So the maximum value of a of i, a of i is less than 10 raised to the power 5. So let us assume it to be 10 raised to the power 5 and if we try to calculate log base 2 of this particular value it will come out to be something 16 point something right. So that means we need at least 2 raised to the power 16 right to represent 10 raised to the power 5 and 
that means we need 17 bits right so basically we need 17 bits to represent a of i in any case right whatever the value of a of i is we know that we will be able to represent it in 17 bits so what i can do is i can use the first 17 bits to store the actual number and the next 17 bits to store the modified number right and the total number of bits are actually 64 the input that has been given to us is long long so the total number of bits are 64 so you can easily do this this uh, this 17 plus 17 will be equal to 34 right so you can easily store it in a long long so the last 17 bits from the least significant side will be the original number that was stored there and the next 17 bits will store the modified number that should be placed there and at the end after you have done all of this you can just right shift uh, 17 times each array element right so this is our first approach and uh, let us discuss the second approach now so we are going to discuss method 2 method 2 so this method is actually going to use some basic mathematics basic mathematics so this method is actually not very difficult so according to the constraints each array of i is in this range right it is always greater than or equal to 0 and it is always less than n so what can i do with this particular fact now you will see if i divide each array of i by n it will only lead to 0 right it will not at all contribute to anything so each array of i or each element in the array will always lead to 0 and it will not contribute anything now what if i do this particular thing for example i take array of i and let's say i want the number array of j to be added to it right so what i'll do is i'll add array of j multiplied by n now if i divide this whole value by n i can easily write it as a of i by n plus a of j into n by n right so this value we have already discussed it is going to be 0 right and n will always cancel out here and the only remaining value will be a of j right so you will observe that if we write each array of i as array of i plus array of j into n and then we divide it by n we will always get array of j right and all of this is only possible because the maximum value of a of i is n minus 1 right it will never go beyond n minus 1 so that is why we will always get the value of a of j but till now we have discussed this part and there is one very important thing that we are missing so let's say you had an array you had an array right so let's say you modified this particular position right and for this particular element you need the the element at position 0 right but this element is already modified if you use it then the value here will be some other value and not your expected value right so i wanted to use the value which was originally present here how do i make sure that i am using only that value so you will observe that uh, if you want to use array of i so each array of i is actually represented in this particular format right it is array of i plus some multiple of n right so if i take this value and if i take this whole value and take it mod n you will see this multiple of n will get equal to 0 and i will only have array of i which is what exactly what i needed if i directly use array of i i will get this whole value but this is not what i want i want that i only get array of i so if i take whole value mod n i will only get array of i because this is this value is multiple of n and it will be equal to 0 right so at the end what you'll have to do is for each array of i you can calculate its value as array of i is equal to array of i plus array of j so j is the position that you actually want to replace it with multiply by n but i we have already discussed that we cannot directly take array of j so we will take array of j mod n and then multiply by n this is how you can calculate each value of array of i now at the end for each value of array of i you will have to divide it by n right this is your final approach so let us have a look at the code of both of the approaches i have submitted both of them and uh, both of them are accepted i'll also tell you i got a couple of wrong submissions in the beginning and uh, that was in my first approach using bit manipulation i was doing something wrong that is why i was getting wrong answers so let me just show you um, what we have done here so this is the first approach using bit manipulation what i have done is for i am traversing through all the integers right through all the values 
from 0 to less than n. Now I calculate what is the value that I need. It is equal to array of array of 5. So I know I need 17 bits to represent uh, the maximum value of 10 to the power 5. So I go up to uh, 17 and if need right shift j, that means the jth bit is set, then I am also setting it in array of i. But remember, I cannot set the jth bit, I have to set the j plus 17th bit, right? You know, you already know why, because the first 17 bit will be used to represent the original number and the next 17 bits will be used to represent the new number or the modified number. So for every value of j, I need to do j plus 17. If 0th bit is set in my original number, then I need to set the 17th bit to represent the 0th bit in the modified number, right? And uh, I can just use OR operation to set that particular bit. Now at the end, after I've done with all of this, I what I can do is for each array element, I can just right shift each array element by 17 bits, right? Now the mistake that I was doing was because of which I was getting wrong answer is because I was directly writing 1 here. So uh, like you have to be very careful about this. Whenever, whenever you are doing left shift operation such that the resulting number will be a long long number and it will be out of bounds for integers, you have to specifically write one long long, right? Because if it is one, it will be considered as integer and when you left shift it, uh, like for example, uh, 40 times, right? You cannot left shift an integer 40 times because there are only 32 bits, right? So if you left shift 40 times, it will lead to some garbage value, right? So you need to make sure that you're specifically writing one long long here. Only then it will work. If you don't write LL here, it will not work and it is going to give you wrong answers. So this was the mistake that I was doing initially. So let us have a look at the second correct code. And it, this is using the second method that I told you about using mathematics. So what I essentially do is I just add array of array of i. So this is the number that I need. I take mod n and multiply it by n. So I add this whole value to array of i. And at the end for each value, I just divide array of i by n. So this would be the solution, second solution, and both of them are equally correct. Both of them uses O of 1 extra space, right? And uh, both of them works. So I hope that you guys were able to understand the solution. If you guys did, then consider dropping a like on this video. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments as your engagement with this particular video really helps the YouTube algorithm to understand that this video is actually helpful for you and you should be able to reach more number of people like you who want to keep solving new problems. So I see a lot of people who watch these videos have not subscribed yet. In case you are one of them, then please consider subscribing. It's always free of cost and you can always unsubscribe if you don't find the videos interesting later. So share this channel with your friends. Until the next video drops, keep coding, stay safe, bye bye.